If you've never heard of Proven before, it is the training program for Tia Claire Toomey, title of Fittest Woman on Earth, six years in a row. The conditioning portion is gonna be a doozy. What's going on everyone? Today I'm not climbing. Uh, it is a cross training day for me, so I just wanted to show you all what that entails. Uh, on my non-climbing days, I follow this CrossFit training program called Proven 60. If you've never heard of Proven before, it is the training program for Tia Claire Toomey. Tia Toomey going for her sixth consecutive CrossFit Games Champion. It's run by her husband and her coach, Shane Orr. They are the best training program, or at least one of the best training programs in CrossFit history. They send a ton of athletes to the CrossFit Games. And of course, Tia has won the title of Fittest Woman on Earth six years in a row. So they are super legit. And what I really like about Proven is that they give you all the details, so you don't have to think about anything. So they give you the warm up to do, they give you a strength portion, and then they give you a conditioning portion. And they tell you exactly what reps to do, what percentages to do them at, how much rest to take in between, et cetera, et cetera. So you literally don't have to think about anything. You can just go to the gym and do what you're told to do. So today I'm gonna to be going through a full workout for you. I'm gonna be showing you the entire warm up, strength portion, conditioning portion, and I'm just kinda kind of talk about it and give my thoughts along the way. The strength portion that I'm doing today, it's five rounds of push press. I'll go into the exact details of what they are later on as I get into the workout. Uh, and then the conditioning portion is four rounds of three exercises in each of those rounds. It's a, the same three exercises each time. Again, I'll go into those details, but the conditioning portion is gonna be a doozy. But I don't wanna waste any more time because I am tripping on pre-workout right now. So uh, I'm gonna head to the gym and let's get this party started. So I just got to the gym and there's one last thing that I want to say before getting started and that's that, that I'm not going to actually talk about the workout while I'm at the gym. I'll do commentary and I'll do some sort of like voiceover afterwards but it's just like too noisy in there and they're usually playing music that you can't really play on, uh, on YouTube anyway. So with that, let's get this party started. try this just because I don't have a whole lot of time so I'm gonna try and give my feedback while I'm driving home yeah so the warm-up was the first part of the workout uh, that was there was a warm-up that was nothing special it was one minute of machine of your choice which I chose rowing uh, then there was something else that I ended up skipping um, but instead I went straight into 10 jumping squats 10 shoulder press from a back rack and then 10 kipping swings. I don't do like a crossfit kip when I do muscle ups but it's still good to do those kipping swings as a warm up just because those are uh, a good shoulder opener and good to just like get your forearms and biceps um, moving and warming up. So I got through a little over two rounds of that. Again, you're not trying to, I'm not trying to kill myself when I do that. Just trying to move at a comfortable pace that's gonna get me breathing a little bit. But then you go straight into the strength portion. Uh, the strength portion was five rounds, one minute of max reps, followed by one minute of rest. So it was push press workout. Um, so first round was at 60% of your one rep max. Second round, 65%, 70%, 75%, and then you finish at 80%. Uh, what they say in the instructions is that you should be roughly around 10 reps, 
or sorry, 12 reps, 10 reps, eight reps, six reps, four reps. Um, I was a little over on each. I don't actually know what my one rep max for push presses, so I kind of guessed that it was 135 and then just went based off of that. Uh, so the first round I did at 85 pounds, second round was at 90 pounds, third round 95 pounds, fourth 100 pounds, and then I finished with 110 pounds. Uh, and I think on that fourth round I ended up getting five reps. So I think I was like right around where they wanted me to be. Yeah, it's good to work, uh, especially like shoulder, overhead, like pushing because so much of climbing is overhead pulling. So it's good to just do the opposite. And also my shoulders are really weak. So I'm always happy to, to work that weakness. But then we got into the conditioning portion or the Metcon as they call it. Uh, Metcon stands for metabolic conditioning, but this is basically just the, the part that sucks. So every time I do one of these like Metcon workouts, I always look at it and I think that's not gonna be bad. And I'm always wrong. I always end up eating shit during it. Um, and this was no different. But this one tricked me because after the first round, I was like, actually, I should say what the workout was. With the Metcom workouts, they give you three different levels to do, and it's basically uh, three different difficulties. So level one is the hardest, level two is the one that I usually do, and this is the one that I did today. So for level two, it was 18 calories uh, on the rowing, the rowing machine. Then it was 15 push press at 95 pounds. Um, followed by seven bar muscle ups. So you do four rounds of that and you go every five minutes, which means that if you finish that round within the five minutes, whatever you finished, uh, or whatever time you finished until the five minute mark, that's your rest period. So in the instructions, they say you should be finishing around four minutes on each of these rounds. Um, and this is how this workout tricked me. The first round I finished, at about 3.30, and I was like, I was feeling good. I was like, that was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. But the first round, you can't trust that, right? So the second round, I finished, and I was like, still not that bad. Like, seven muscle-ups is a lot for me to do in a row, definitely. So I split it up four and three on the first two rounds, and even, even that, like, I didn't think that I would be able to do four muscle-ups in a row on the second round, and I did. So after that second round, I was like, this might not be a bad workout. This might be my workout. And then came round three. And those push press really caught up to me. I was planning on splitting up in the third round, and I ended up splitting up as intended. I did uh, 10 and five, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, but. Yeah, those last like three push press were really tough. And then the muscle ups were really tough. I had to split those up. I don't even remember how I split them to be honest. Maybe I did, I don't even remember actually. I can't remember how I did the, the muscle ups, but I definitely, I did three sets of those. And then the last round, I like, I was really suffering. Um, but that's good. It's good to do that, you know, like once or twice a week, do do a workout like that where you're really like getting your heart rate up. Uh, especially, I like these workouts because you're getting your heart rate up and you're moving heavy weight. So it's not like you're just running or, you know, doing a bunch of jumping jacks or a bunch of burpees. Like you're, you're hefting, you're, you're lifting fairly heavy weights, like push press at 95 and that's, that's what I was doing literally for 70% of my one rep max. Um, and then you're doing muscle ups, you're doing a whole bunch of them. So uh, I really like the volume and the, the heavy load. Um, it sucks, but what I would suggest is like, if you're doing this just as a way to stay in shape or a way to increase your conditioning, uh, improve your, your engine as they call it and get stronger, I would I would just do level three of these workouts like, or, you know, 
don't try and finish them. Like, I easily could have slowed down my pace, like, broke up everything a lot more, and I probably wouldn't have finished the muscle-ups by the end, and you just hop right back into the rowing. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, you're still getting in 20 minutes of work. So, yeah, if you're considering this, one, I would definitely recommend it. Two, I would say just, you know, don't kill yourself doing this. People who do this training are training for CrossFit competitions. So if you're not interested in that, you're just trying to like get a little stronger and you know, take it easy. Just go at 70%. What would be like an all out? Don't, don't try that hard. This isn't your main workout, I'm guessing. So if it's not your main workout, then what difference does it make really? You're still, uh, you're still getting in good exercise. So after the Metcon workout, there was some accessory work. It was three rounds of one minute wall sit, one minute glute bridge hold, and then one minute rest. Um, the wall sit sucked because it's a wall sit, but other than that, you know, nothing special there. And then last but not least was some mobility work. Uh, I don't remember exactly what the stretches are, but you're probably watching them on screen now, so you can get a sense of what they what they were. Um, and again, this is the other thing that I really, really like about the proven programming is that they program mobility into your workouts. Uh, and so they basically, they give you 60 minutes to work in, and in that 60 minutes you have a warm up, you have strength building, you have conditioning, and then you also have mobility and stretching. And it's like, that's literally everything you need in a workout, and it's 60 minute chunk, and you're done. Uh, I took a little longer because I was like, you know, setting up the camera and moving things around and stuff, so this probably took me like an hour 15, hour 20, but still, like, to get in that kind of work within an hour, it's so, so effective. Um, and if you're a climber, you could also do this before or after a climbing session. Like, normally when you're at a climbing gym, well, normally when I'm at a climbing gym, I spend like freaking two hours there. So you could do something where, you can do a day where half of it is one of these workouts and then the other half is just climbing. Um, that would be so effective in improving both your climbing ability and your strength and conditioning. But yeah, that was the Proven 60 workout. My final thoughts is I would highly recommend, it's like $35 a month. So that on top of uh, a climbing membership, you know, it's a little pricey, but actually, honestly, I don't think so. For basically somebody giving you workouts to do every single day, I don't, $35 a month, I don't think it's bad at all. Um, I think they do like a seven, oh yeah, a seven day trial. So you can also sign up and try it out for a week. This isn't even sponsored, by the way. Like, I just, I really like them, so I kind of wanted to just show a full workout. Um, but I would highly recommend it. Again, it's so good for improving your strength and conditioning. Like, it's so efficient in the way that they program. Um, yeah, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. So I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you thought this was useful. Let me know if you do any sort of strength and conditioning workouts on your own outside of climbing. Um, if you did enjoy it, you know, subscribe for, for more of this kind of like workout review content type stuff. I don't know. Whatever. I'm driving. I'm going to go now before I crash this car. All right. Bye.